Congrats. Hi, Thomas. How you doing? I see you're in the uh, sanitation crew. Yes, I am. So that that uh, Thursday night, were you working hard cleaning up the place? Yes, I was. We was coordinating. We was working hard. We was getting everybody gathered. We was trying to get everybody informed to like really get your stuff together because around midnight, you know what I'm saying? We're going to just, it's going to be over. It's going to stop. We're going to gather. We're going to see. We're going to see what exactly what's going to happen first thing in the morning. So what was the, the whole mood around midnight? The whole mood, we was tense, we was angry, we was insulted. We was insulted by the mayor that he had the audacity to him and the commissioner or the other park owner, whoever called it, whoever called it, you know who I'm talking to. You had the audacity to call us filthy, to call us hippies, all the rhetoric um, pre-exist, uh, you know what I'm saying, before, you know what I'm saying, even wanted to bring a crew down here, you know what I'm saying, we were dirty, it was, it was unfit to live. Um, we basically said that we were bums for the most part, bums with no message, and we was insulted. And we, and, and we wanted to make a statement. We made a statement. We wanted to make a statement that okay, if we gonna do this, we gonna clean up. We gonna do. It, we gonna show you that. But that's not it. We gonna see what's up because we're hearing stuff that you're gonna come well, down. Well, Thomas, with. what did you do as part of the sanitation crew? Well, what I did for the most part. Um, I swept when I, I swept when I could. Um, me being a part of the immediate sanitation crew, um, a lot of everybody else was just put, for the most part volunteers, and their um, their help was um, was greatly appreciated just as much as us. Um, I swept, I mop when I could, I scrub all the equipment right here, I shoveled, I planted plants, um, and most importantly, I informed everybody and I tried my best to coordinate everybody and let them know the severity of the situation that we were facing. So, how much sleep did you get that night? I didn't get any sleep. I woke up at I woke up at um. Uh, well, let's see, I woke up around, um, I didn't get any sleep. If I got any breast, it was just for a cigarette break. No one slept. So, at 6 in the morning, what did you guys expect? Hmm, to be honest with you, I didn't know what to expect. I knew that it was going to be evil. We knew, everyone has a much, I was speaking for everyone, we knew that it was going to be either really good, that it was going to back down, or it was going to be bad. But one thing was for certain, we knew they wasn't going to get in this park. Well, I mean, if, if they came in in force to evacuate the park for a cleanup, what do you think would have happened? We would have forced back. We would have pushed back. We would have pushed back. Whatever force they would have um, um, imposed upon us, we would have inflicted that much more damage back to them. A lot of people here are not afraid of getting locked up. And I think they need to reconsider what they're doing right now. Well, 700 people got arrested in the Brooklyn Bridge. Well, so, so, yeah. so they would have just arrested people here, right? That, yeah, they would have arrested people here, but it would have been, it wouldn't have just been like the Brooklyn Bridge incident where it was just a riot, people got arrested, you know what I'm saying? It would have been, I believe, a bloodbath, people would have gotten beat up, police would have gotten beat up, it would have been a war. It would have been a war against us, against the NYPD, against the riot police, it would have been a mess. There's no question about it, it would have been a mess of astronomical proportions, and I, I, I don't, that's not um, far-fetched at all. Thank you.